Did you know that humans only manage three things? Every decision or policy on Earth is made to address either a social, a financial, or an environmental need, desire, or problem. And then through the management of those things, through the management of ourselves and our economies, we use nature to produce everything imaginable from toothpicks, wine and food to spacecraft, computers and medicine. And if you look around the world today, you'll notice we are seeing huge advances in all the things we produce, but we are experiencing a rapid increase in social, economic and environmental problems. This means our management or the way we make decisions must be failing us on a global scale. If everything we use, consume and produce comes from nature, it means that all societies and economies are entirely dependent on and therefore intricately connected to nature in a web of complexity we cannot even fathom. And it means that almost every decision we make must involve complex and unique social, economic and ecological elements to have to balance simultaneously. But none of us are born with the need or ability to do that because every single one of us is born using a genetically inherited decision-making process which was designed for a time when we only had stick and stone tools and we only had to make decisions or manage ourselves in a single social context. With stick and stone tools we were not able to manipulate nature so we weren't managing our environment and we didn't have economies yet. When humans discovered how to use fire and develop more and more sophisticated tools, it changed everything. We could manipulate nature, we began a barter system, and we ended up adding financial and environmental elements to our once only social reasons for making decisions. Each decision had become complex and now involved simultaneous social, financial, and environmental elements to have to balance. But our inherited way of making decisions causes us to unknowingly break that inseparable complexity up into simple, linear, more manageable parts. So we began to address our needs or problems from either a social or a financial or an environmental perspective. Today, we consider, study and manage those as entirely separate things. So while we are capable of thinking holistically, and we'll often start off by looking at the full complexity of a project or a policy or anything, none of us are born with the need or ability to make our actions themselves holistic. We are all genetically hardwired to break that complexity down at the point of decision, which means all decisions or expert advice will come from either the social or the financial or the environmental perspective. We break our decisions and policies into simple, more manageable parts, and then we use either the social or the financial or the environmental need or problem we are trying to address as the context to guide the decision. Making decisions like this ends in disastrous and invisible long-term damage across that whole complex web, which are all the problems we're seeing increasing around the world. Every time we use whatever need or problem we are trying to address as the context to guide our actions, we reduce that inseparable complexity of the decision. So this results in us meeting short-term objectives without ever being able to see or balance the inevitable and unique long-term social, economic and ecological knock-on consequences of any decision. If we'd been aware of us having an inherited way of making decisions, as soon as our tools and technology began to advance, we should have developed a broader context to guide all our decisions in order for us to be able to keep sight of and check for the new short and long term social, financial and environmental elements of every decision, whether it was being made for a social, economic or environmental reason. We now know that when we teach ourselves how to broaden our context and use that new context to guide any decision or policy, it enables us to keep sight of and successfully manage and balance the full short and long term social, economic and environmental elements of every social, economic or environmental need, desire or problem. A broad new context ensures we always tie our individual and collective physical and financial stability to environmental health. Imagine this new way of making decisions like going from only ever being able to see your decisions in one or two dimensions to zooming out and 
always being able to see and make them in 3D. This new process is called the holistic management framework because we look at the whole or full complexity of each decision. It is based on Jan Smut's theory on holism and the fact that nature only functions in holes and patterns. It unites and empowers decision makers to make the best possible decision for themselves given whatever unique short and long-term social, economic and environmental complexity their decisions or policies will impact. Now imagine when we have the first true statesman using this broad context to guide policy suggestions and actions and tying their entire country's physical and economic stability to ecological health. It would change the world within a very short period of time.